All right guys, I'm in my daughter Oakland's nursery and it is time that I give it a little bit of a refresh. It's just looking a little bare. I don't have a lot of plants in here and I wanna hang some. I wanna do an accent wall here. I just feel like it's always looked a little bare and I have probably three fourth gallon of this color paint left. I've had multiple different ideas, but I am gonna try and narrow it down and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm not really buying a whole lot. I'm using, you know, most of what I have in here. I just need to clean it up and then add a couple things and do some type of an accent wall. I'm also going to need to go through all of her clothes. She's got quite a bunch hanging here that she doesn't wear anymore and I've got a bunch that are stored. So I need to go through stuff, make more room and add in some new pieces that I have for her. So that is the plan for the video. There's also gonna be some organization in here. So I'm slightly intimidated right now, not gonna lie. I am trying something that <laughs> I've never done before. I am attempting to do an ombre wall with only the paint that I have on hand. I wish I would have a darker bottom color. Um, the wall is already white, obviously, and that's what you wanna start with because that's kind of what you'll end up with. And I'm going from bottom to top starting with darkest up to the top. I've done a little bit of research just on Pinterest and stuff. There's different ways to do it. So I need to stir this around. This is Castilian pink, but I had like done it at maybe 50 to 75%. So not nearly as dark as the original sample. I have these two sample cans that maybe you saw me do with my uh, vases. And this is not gonna be enough for the bottom, but I'm gonna see if I can come up with something, maybe mix these and a little bit of the pink together and see how that goes. So these are the colors that I have at this point. This will be at the bottom, and then I'm thinking of either just doing, I might do three of them. This one is like this color, but mixed with white, if that makes sense. And then I am plan to end up with the silky white, which is on the walls currently. So I am pretty scared at this point. I, <laughs> I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. So here goes nothing. So in doing this, I learned a few things. Definitely make sure you have enough roller pans and rollers for each of the different colors you're gonna be working with, as well as a brush. I did not really have that. I was a little unprepared. It was very spur of the moment as far as what I decided to do. And so that's something I would have learned. Also, make sure you roll across rather than up and down because you're gonna be able to blend better. Um, it was definitely a learning process for me. So I went over this, I don't know how many times. So I'm definitely not even showing everything. It was just, I kept kind of messing with it, didn't like it, then I tried to change it. So it was definitely a learning experience, but in the end, I'm happy with it. Today and not tomorrow. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm <laughs> still kind of scared. It's looking kind of blotchy right now, which I know it's because it's still wet, but I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little unsure. <laughs>
the next morning. It's been quite a process. I didn't film all of it. It was not the easiest thing in the world for me. I'm not gonna lie. I have definitely learned a few things, but I don't feel like I have everything down pat. Uh, this morning, I was really discouraged. I was almost ready to just scrap it. I was down to not much paint. I didn't have like the middle section color anymore. I was out of that. So I only had like the top and the bottom two. And my main problem was the top had like a little bit of white left and it was just not big enough. It was too like topped up and it didn't look, you know, nicely blended. So it turned out, I think I'm gonna leave it. The more I tried to like fix it, the worse it seemed to get. <laughs> so my thing this morning that I used and I think I would recommend is I used a brush for the top. It was actually still damp from last night but I just filled in the whole section with the lighter pink because I didn't have enough white left on the wall and it actually looks better. So I used the brush and then I went ahead and used the only roller I had left, uh, which was a like a furry roller. I didn't make it wet, I didn't dip it in the paint or anything. Basically I used this to then kind of like smooth it out after I put brushed it on kind of lightly. I didn't even like fully coat everything, but like, you know, a good amount. Then I would go across with this and kind of blend it in. And I think actually I would do that again. There's lots more tutorials that are way more informative. So be sure to check those out on Pinterest or YouTube or whatever. This is by no means a conclusive tutorial because I'm still not sure I have it down pat. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I'm gonna get started with putting the room back together and do some organizing and then give you a little bit of a tour at the end. So. I need to get busy while she is napping in the other room. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly All right, I'm getting ready to go through her stuff here. This closet needs a lot of help. And I'm gonna be probably, I don't know, storing some stuff and maybe donating or selling some better items. Uh, so I need to kind of do some organizing.
So I wanted something different for her bows and I found this at Goodwill yesterday. It's technically to hold spools of thread, but I was thinking I could possibly use it for a bow holder. So I'm gonna attempt it and then I'm gonna be mounting it on the back of the door. Hopefully these command strips will work. They're the Velcro kind and they hold up to like 16 pounds, which should be fine. So hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can get them organized a little better. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know, really want to know <gasps> Do you have your llama? <gasps> you love llamas, don't you? Aww I thought it's very fitting to have a llama picture above her bed because she really loves her little llama that one of my subscriber friends gave her. <laughs> Say this is Miss Oakland if you're new. Say the queen of the house, pretty much. Yep, the queen of the house. <laughs> All right guys, without further ado, I'm getting ready to show you the room in its entirety. I'm excited with how it turned out. I absolutely love how it turned out in here. It wasn't exactly as I pictured it, you know, in my head, but it's not dramatic, but it's soft and it's a little different and I love it. So the main part of the room stayed the same as far as furniture goes. I really didn't want to spend a lot and I feel like I didn't. The picture was probably the most expensive. It was around $40, so it is a little bit more pricey, but I decided I really like it and since I'm not doing much else in the room, uh, I'm gonna get it. So I, I put a plant and a macrame hanger over there. You might remember seeing it downstairs in our family room, but I brought it up here because I feel like that corner needs green something. And we do have the outlet camera up there, so I didn't want anything like from the ceiling because it would just block that. So I came up with that thing which I had downstairs, so I just moved it up here. And then looking into the closet, I had to coordinate the colors of her clothes. I just thought it would be so fun. They're kind of mixed around as far as uh, sizes, so they're not all things that she's wearing currently, but I love doing this. And I just think it looks a lot more like uniform, it looks organized, and I really like it. So um, I did empty these drawers. Well, some of them, I guess. This is stuff that I'm gonna be keeping for her. So I can still add some more to it and then, you know, if I need a bin to put, um, you know, more stuff in, I can put it in an actual bin once I get more of it. For now, I just put it in there. And this is just some extra, like, gear carriers. These are some clothes that she's going to be growing into. This is full of blankets. And then in here, I've got her crib rail covers um, to go around the top. It's just like miscellaneous and it'll be pretty much empty, which is great. And then this is uh, some extra bins and then also some gifts if I need some. I have a hamper for her clothes and then the crib. This is a Delta children's crib. And the crib sheet is one I had gotten uh, before she was born and it is from Mebe Baby. I think I have it linked in my Amazon store. Always remember to check that and the description box for links to different things. I'll have the picture linked. Um, the lamp or the lamp shade is from Ikea. And then this macrame hanger is from Poppy Cotton Knots on Instagram. I think she has an Etsy shop too. She does beautiful work and 
This one I had put above the crib before, but I feel like the scale is better on this wall. It was maybe just a tad too small on this big wall. So I put it over here and I think it looks great because I love macrame. And of course the throw was from Target and I put a basket over here instead of the little stand I had. Uh, this one has like toys and whatever else I need in there and a little blanket. I did want to find something else like a plant stand or something to put a plant on in this corner. Uh, but for now I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't necessarily match my true style, um, but I had used this one over here. So I just moved it over here for now and she has a little night light. And then I have a fun little leather uh, hanger that would, you know, hold plants. I found it on Amazon. I will try to have it linked. This fern I just got uh, yesterday, I believe. And it is a, I forget what the name was of this. Bird's nest fern, maybe? I think that's what it was. And then on this shelf, I put a baby picture in this frame of her. I love this one. She's so cute. Somewhere I have that bow. It's probably missing somewhere in the house or in a bag or something. Um, then I have two plants. This one I should probably <laughs> put in another pot, but I got it recently and it's a Hoya. And so I'm gonna just leave it for now. In a way it's not, you know, just terrible. And then I have this little pot with a cactus of some sort. I don't know the name of it. This mirror had come from Target a long time ago. So I left everything the same. I just kind of changed up the plants a little bit. And then this dresser had been a Facebook Marketplace find, which I still love. Has the mid-century modern legs. The rug is Rugs USA. So then the door, yeah, don't mind it. it it's not painted. So we eventually want to update the doors in the upstairs here, but I think this is going to work. It might not be the most beautiful thing in the world, but I can see them all at a glance and you know, it's easy to access. So we'll see how it turns out. Not too bad for $5. Uh, I did want to mention, I put a basket with her books over here. I have some more in another bedroom, but she's kind of getting to the stage of, um, you know, looking at books a little bit more and stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to just add them in here. I would like to have some shelves or something to hold them on, but I, I don't have anything right now. So I just put this here and that'll work. It'll corral them and they won't be all over the place. So also put this accordion hanger in the closet. I could spread it out a little bit more if I put in another nail here, <laughs> then I could probably spread it out. But I'm just gonna leave it for now. It's not that big a deal. I just thought I'd put it there since I don't have anything else in the corner, so. And those bins up top are from Target. In this very top bin, I have an extra monitor and like the boxes for the uh, video monitors and stuff. And then I have one for Pampers and then, or diapers, I guess I should say. And then one for like wipes. So that's where I keep like the overflow or the extra stuff. And otherwise, that pretty much completes this. So as far as the organization in her dresser, I'll just quickly show you. I have her shoes here in the top one. This obviously probably won't always stay this way, but she doesn't really wear them very much yet. So, and these are kind of little, you know, so they can fit in this kind of narrow drawer. Second one is pretty empty. Socks, she doesn't wear much of either. And this is like hats. A cooler weather hat and then her sun hats that she'll be kind of growing into I think and then I have a random bib there and in the bottom one I have like burp diapers little blankets um, her one of her loveys some um, bibs I should put the other one down there right and then I have some uh, washcloths here an extra crib sheet and a little traveling pouch if I need it bottom drawer here is kind of empty at this point, but at least I can see now what I need or <laughs> don't need. So these are just like sleepers and little outfits and stuff. And then over here on the side, I have like swimming uh, things and then uh, her swimsuits, that sort of thing. So this drawer is leggings, um, little shorty pants or shorts. And then these are like the onesies I guess you could call them onesies or shirts and this is kind of an overflow and then very top top drawer is stuff that I don't access all that often I don't use it a lot but it's still you know little accessories that I need and just some random things 
and then I keep this thing up here stocked with Pampers and then wipes also some lotion just for easy access and I have our white noise machine here and our lamp a lot of our bedrooms don't have overhead lighting or I guess the two over here don't so I have this lamp and then the other light that hangs there in the corner so that's what I have in here as far as lighting goes. All in all, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I just, I feel like it looks very girly and yet it's something that could grow with her. But make sure if you do want a real tutorial to go check out other videos on YouTube, there will be a lot more uh, comprehensive or even Pinterest. I feel like Pinterest has even more tutorials. So I will leave links for whatever I can in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing the little mini makeover in here, although it was a little stressful at times. I am happy that it's done and the room looks a lot more cheery to be in. It has plants in here again and I'm just excited. Uh, I feel like I'm an ever evolving decorator. Um, I'm constantly kind of tweaking little things here and there and stuff and I enjoy sharing things with you guys. So. I hope it gave you inspiration if you're needing something and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell on the side if you so wish. I would love that. But that is it you guys. Hope you all have a very blessed day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.